everyone, my name is Reverend Carol Kema and these are the thoughts of a shaken pastor. Today I want to talk about choices. I remember some years back when we were in campus and we were arguing about freedom. What does it mean to have freedom? Is there anything like absolute freedom? A friend of mine shared his definition and it stuck with me through the years. And this is what he said, that freedom is the ability to choose your own chains. Life is about choices. What to eat, where to go, who to hang around with, Little choices made every day. This is true both for the weight loss journey and even for salvation. Every day I, might make, I must make decisions about my weight. Am I going to eat this or am I going to eat that? Am I going to go here or am I going to go there? Who am I going to hang out with? Am I going to relax or am I going to work out? Every day I must make a choice. See, the truth is all these small decisions add up to have major consequences. If I don't eat the right things, if I don't work out, if I don't watch out, then I'll go back to exactly where I began. This is true even for salvation. We must answer those age-old questions. Where am I going to go when I die? And what am I going to do with my life? What's the legacy that I'm leaving behind? The Bible talks about Joshua, a great warrior and leader in biblical times. You can read his story in the book of Joshua. <laughs> Interesting, right? Anyway, Towards the end of his life, as he's talking to the Israelites and just narrating to them how far the Lord had brought them, he asks this very important question. It can be found in the book of Joshua, chapter 24, from verse 14 and 15. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and faithfulness. Put away the gods that your father served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve whether the gods your father served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua was making a declaration. He said, I know that there are other things that I could give my life to. There are other gods that I could be serving, but I have chosen to serve the Lord, not just for myself, but as a legacy for my children. You see, we all must make choices. In life, we'll make little choices. But at the end of the road, we will have to make really important choices. Where will I go when I die? And to whom will I owe allegiance? I want to share with you the words of this beautiful song called Live for Jesus. And I think it is my legacy. Not I think, I actually know this is the legacy I want to be remembered by. Oh, I want to be remembered as a girl who sang a song for Jesus Christ, who was willing to lay down her life and to do God's will, no matter what the prize. While I'm singing for the deaf man, who can hear about salvation through my song and I'm singing for the blind man who can see the light in me and come along. Live for Jesus, that's what matters. When other houses crumble, mine is strong. Live for Jesus, that's all matters. That you see the light in me and come along. Now there are times when I'm tempted to dim off this rugged road and travel on. There are times when I've said, Jesus, can't you find another girl to sing your song? I know that I'm not the only one who can sing this melody, but God has chosen me to bless me and to lead me into what is best for me. Living for Jesus, that's all that matters. God bless you.